2022, the year following 2021, and that year following 2020. Some might say the worst year of recent times. Disease is running rampant, business is closing down, grocery stores closing down, and worst of all, the gyms closing down as well. A place of peace, tranquility, and most of all, self-improvement. With the wide variety of machines and outlets that it gives you, this is not only a place to help you look better, but also a place to help you feel better as well. And with 2022 already not coming off to a good start, it is not looking too promising. Let's not jinx anything, but we have to take necessary precaution. I present to you, how to get jacked without the gym. If you guys are trying to put that work in at home, you need to be well equipped. And as a lot of you guys know, the majority of your results don't come from training. They come from how you eat. But Baxter, what are some things that I can eat? I'm glad you asked that, Jimmy. That protein powder tastes like shit. <laughs> Without protein, your body has no way to build or maintain muscle. Now it kind of go against what we're trying to do. These are some of my main sources of protein. Egg whites, lean meats, Greek yogurt, protein powder, protein bars. There you go. You can't go wrong. I have lean ground beef right here. You can do chicken. You can do you, you can do tilapia. You can do shrimp. Whatever floats you both. I recommend trying to get at least your body weight in grams of protein. That'll vary from person to person, but that's a good guideline. But obviously, you shouldn't only be eating protein. Let me, let me, let me. Bro, what is this? Carbs? Baxter, I thought carbs made you fat. Put it simply, carbs are your energy source. If you cut carbs, especially if you're trying to work out, you're gonna feel like shit, perform like shit. Yeah, shit. Potatoes, rice, pasta, those are all some solid carbs, but the last piece of the puzzle. Whoa, a green nut sack. Your healthy fats. Any well-balanced diet, you need your healthy fats in there. Avocados, nuts, I love nuts, eggs, the list goes on. Incorporate them in there, they'll have you feeling good, and balance out your diet. All that being said, it goes both ways. You can have your diet in check, but if you ain't training, you're not growing, so you need to be prepared. And I think I know a person that'll help us do just that. Woo! It's Mama Bex. It's Mama Bex. <laughs> it's Mama Bex. She's actually a five-time uh, Mr. Olympia. Mr. So she knows how to work out. So she's gonna teach us how to work out, but we gotta make a pit stop first. We're going to Chipotle. We at Chipotle. We're gonna go in, get a little bite to eat. Yummy. This is a little convenient way to get your protein in if you're lacking for the day. And if you're out and about, you can throw some veggies in there, get some nutrients. But yeah, we're gonna go fuel, and we'll catch you at the house. This is, this is this is her workout attire. I just got home from work. If you guys are trying to work out at home, it'll help to have some equipment. This is a breathing exercise I learned. Exhale. What do you say? <laughs> do it. Come on. <laughs> Let's bring out some equipment. First, you got your dumbbells. Do some basic movements with these. The secret that no one knows about. You, you might know about it. If you can't get your hands on some dumbbells, a resistance band. Great alternative. That's pretty much what we're gonna rock with. Now let's put them to use. Let's give you some exercises. So basically what we're gonna do is run down some workouts you can do with dumbbells or resistance bands for every single muscle group. These definitely aren't your only options, but I'm just giving you some ideas. Starting with the shoulder. Moving into the shoulder press. Very basic movement can be done with not only dumbbells, but resistance bands. Moving on to our lateral raises. With my mom's immaculate form, you guys should know how to do these. And finishing off with rear delt flies for the rear delt. Now moving on to the tricep. Starting off with tricep extensions. Once again, you can also do them with a resistance band. This is creativity at its finest. DIY oh, yeah. bench. Skull crushers are a great one as well. Now moving on to the bicep. Your basic bicep curls. Once again, you can do them with dumbbells or with resistance bands. Bands, and then finishing it off with a hammer curl and there are biceps done and dusted moving on to the chest <laughs> The only thing we did was bench press, but there are other options You can do push-ups you can do incline push-ups decline push-ups incline bench press if you have an incline you have your options Now moving on to the back a lot of rows once again We were limited but one of my favorites is one arm dumbbell rows if you have a pull-up bar That's another great option for the back and biceps and you can put the work in there now to the worst part the legs At first we got our squats you can do these with a weighted backpack to make them a little bit easier So you don't have to hold dumbbells. We're trying to do RDLs and my look what my mom can do. What is this? What is that flexibility? She's like 80 years old. <laughs> I had to take over for the RDLs. Getting a little bit of hammy work in. Make sure to get a deep stretch on these. You'll really feel them. Here my mom tried to do Bulgarian split squats and she quit on me. Without recording calf raises. Don't forget calves, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. We're ending the tutorial here. But the biggest question. When do I do these? And how much do I do these? Well, that is a great question. I'd make yourself a workout split. That's basically when you're going to be training your muscle groups. An example would be upper, lower, rest, upper lower or you can do a three-day full body split you have a lot of options i'd pick one you vibe with fits in your schedule grab some workouts for those given days put them together and do them i'd recommend three sets anywhere from the 6 to 15 rep range that's always a good start for these exercises and try to make them harder over time by either increasing the amount of reps you do controlling them a little bit more or making them heavier in some way and you will make progress oh hopefully this video shows you that if you can't make it to the gym you can still put in the work I put my dear old mom through the ringer for these workouts but yeah hopefully you take some good things from this video as always if you have any questions for me you can hit me up on instagram i'll get back to you if you like the video like comment subscribe and my mom will give you a lambo, it's a lambo. <laughs> we'll catch you in the next one